Hi Libra, how are you? It's me, Lauren B. Welcome to the Untitled Tarot. Libra, we have used the Lightseer's Tarot and the Wild Unknown Spirit Animal Oracle deck for your spread this week. We got a bunch of cards, but I'm hearing examination, examination. Part of the reason why I feel like you have so many cards out today is because you really want to understand what's going on with you because something's going on with you and it's bothering you and you really want to understand the mechanism behind the madness. So let's begin with prayer. Father God, thank you for bringing me and my Libras here today. I ask that you give me wisdom and clarity to deliver these messages. I ask that you bless these cards, that you cover these messages, that you allow me to bring forth guidance in the highest of Libras love, light, alignment, and assignment. We praise you and we thank you every day, always, to the utmost high. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen, Libra. So, Libra, the first two cards that you have out is you the elephant and the tower. Now, the elephant is God Almighty to me as a reader. This is divine intervention. This is divine detours. Elephants are beautiful. They're majestic. They're kind. They're intelligent. They're intuitive. This is the tower card. This is divine shakeup, intervention, detour, upset, rumble, whatever it may be for you. And this is God bringing in a tower moment for you. Some kind of upset, some kind of shake up. Now, for some of you, this has already happened. And I feel like for most of you, this has already happened. For some of you, um, it's happening currently for you and they want you to understand why this process is going on. So God has come in. He's brought in this little bit of a tower moment. And, you know, I see, I see this little squirrel down here and he's looking up at the tower. It almost looks like a mountain, right? There's been some kind of mountain in front of you that you can't really seem to climb up. You can't really seem to get around. You can't really seem to understand or move by your own power, right? So God is coming in with, with his might and he's kind of striking this mountain, striking this tower down for you. And these acorns over here, acorns and squirrels, right? We always say that um, squirrels are very indicative of believing in yourself, but they also talk about um, energy, where you're putting your energy, which is represented by these acorns, because a, a squirrel loses most of the nuts that it hides, right? It's about putting your energy into places where it's wasted, where it's lost, right? And as God kind of strikes this tower for you, these acorns slowly start to sort of uh, disintegrate, right? Basically moving something for you that uh, you were putting a lot of time, effort, energy into, and it was almost... Um, it was not coming, I'm gonna put this, I wanna put this the right way. It, it was not coming to fruition in, in the way that it should have been considering the amount of tender love and care that you were putting into this, right? So what God has done in this tower moment is he's put you into the hermit mode, right? Now here's that tower that we were just talking about, right? They, they actually look very, very similar. <coughs> Excuse me, Libra. And what he's doing is he's ascending you, cutting, kind of cutting it off at the top. He's kind of ascending you higher above the tower. He's separating you from the situation, right? And also nine being a very independent number. He's separating you independently of this situation, bringing you up, exalting you, making you high above the rock, right? So that way he can come in and heal you. You can learn to shine your light, become your own internal lantern without this situation, without constantly looking up to this person, looking up to this job, looking up to this relationship, looking up to this obstacle, whatever it is. Because sometimes obstacles, challenges, they, they become so big and great in front of our eyes that we almost start idolizing them, right? Like almost like, please just move for me. Please just work with me. Please just cooperate. Please just promote me. Please just, please just, please, right? It's very like Oliver Twist. Like, please, sir, can I have some more? And God's like, oh, no, 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 Libra. We're going to crack this thing up at the top and we're going to lift you up above it because we need to isolate you for a little bit because we need to heal you. We need to work on some things. We need to get a couple things straight in you because I'm not going to let you do this. I'm not going to let you look up to a situation that's just throwing your acorns off to the side. We don't throw our pearls at swine, right? And the thing is about this situation is you have the firefly, the cobra, and the starfish all in reverse. So the thing that perhaps because you were looking up to it so much, right? You were like, oh God, please. Um, you were looking up to it so much that you didn't realize that this thing was potentially seasonal, right? With the firefly, fireflies are something that... <clears throat> 
are really special and they're really beautiful but they're also temporary because i don't know where you live but i live in new jersey and we have fireflies in the late spring and we have them in the summer and they're beautiful and we love them and we cherish them but we don't have them in the fall we don't have fireflies in the winter right or even in early spring they're they're a warm climate kind of bug so it's something that's seasonal it's for a season in your life perhaps a reason in your life perhaps a lesson but it's not forever and what this thing was is you didn't realize that some of these acorns they were special and beautiful and bright absolutely but they were seasonal they were temporal and with the cobra kind of facing downwards the cobra is a very aggressive energy it talks about trigger moments for me that it was actually taking um, the things in you that it was meant to trigger up for you to examine, to work on, to heal, you were actually taking them, thinking that you were maturing yourself, overcoming them by actually burying them deep down inside of you and actually almost like making it worse. Like the things that was triggering up, you were supposed to examine them within yourself, go pray for the healing on it, pray, you know, for guidance on how to work through it. But you, you saw it as, um, as a as an obstacle to this big mountain that you were admiring so instead in order in order instead of working through them you kind of jumped over them and just dug them in it's almost like pushing dirt underneath the carpet a little bit like that this thing that was seasonal and in reality it actually wasn't your star this is aquarian energy which is also humanitarian energy right it's that give and take um it's that taking care of someone taking care of something so like i said it's uh the tlc you were putting into these acorns you weren't getting it back and it was just making you bury all of your trigger moments right so you could have been like really irritated for the last couple of weeks not really known why um and it was because you didn't want to admit maybe that this thing was like only a temporary sort of thing and it wasn't really your star a star is like it's a dream it's a wish it's wish fulfillment it wasn't really that because you also have, have it followed out underneath one, the sun in reverse underneath this firefly, right? The sun is the happiest card in the deck. It was raining on your parade. Maybe you didn't realize it, but you know, it's almost like a swan song. It's like a sunset. It was raining on your parade a little bit. And and this burying of, of the aggression, the, the bitterness, the resentment that you had um, of constantly looking up to this, this tower, this mountain, this thing, this person, this job, whatever it may be, this boss, that you have the fool in reverse that this um, bitterness, this this growing uh, uh, conflict that you were having inside of you, it was actually smothering your faith, right? Because you were just like, if it won't come in and if it won't happen for me, that means God doesn't want me to have it. And then it puts you on the, on the opposite side of God's will for you because these things happen because he wants the best for you, right? And sometimes what we see in front of us, we think is the best thing for us, but in actuality, it's not. Sometimes it's not. And so all of this burying of your trigger moments was really separating you from your faith. It was getting you too much in the flesh and taking a lot out of your spirit. And with the starfish, you have the nine of swords in reverse. And so the, the nine of swords is a card of like paranoia. It's distress. It's bad dreams, sleepless nights, all of that kind of stuff. And what this is actually saying is like you were trying to convince yourself that it wasn't that it wasn't bothering you. You're trying to convince yourself that you didn't care. Like, well, if this doesn't come in, like, it's whatever. No skin off my back. Like, I don't care. It's not a big deal. It's not a big deal. And again, it's like, it's ignoring yourself. It's not honoring your feelings, right? Um, we, we don't need to sit in all of our feelings too long. We have to address them, acknowledge them, honor them, but then work through them. Because then when we sit in them, that's a problem, right? But this is you by kind of ignoring that, pretending like that wasn't bothering you. You were just burying these trigger moments more, not wanting to admit to yourself the situation was temporary, raining on your parade, and thereby really kind of negatively impacting your faith. And with the fox in reverse, this is like a kind of like a like a think on your feet energy, but in reverse, it's also like a little bit of a trickstery energy, which is a little bit of that like grasping at straws. Well, well, what if I do this? Or what if I make that call? Or what if I say things this way? Or what if I post this on social media? Or what if I make myself more available in this area? What if I make myself less available in this other area, right? It's like this, it's like playing this like weird game. And it's like, God, we, God doesn't play games. He doesn't play games like that, right? He doesn't treat us like Jenga pieces. When in reality, what is happening for you is that you have a golden egg and the bee. It's the bee, Libra. There's something special here, a purpose, an opportunity, a, a, a whole new life. Something's buried treasure. There's buried treasure. And what they want you to do is they want you to work on that because the bee is a very working energy, right? Um, it's, I'm seeing, I'm seeing three, I'm seeing threes. So you might be seeing like three or like 33 or 333 three, three a lot. License plates, you're saying license plates, time clock and license plates. Um, but the bee is, is a community energy. It's, it is bringing in that star, that Aquarian, that humanitarian energy. They, they work together, but they, they work 
independently. They go individually from flower to flower and they pollinate, right? But they work individually as a part of a greater whole, right? It's like working in God's world, like with your own personal mission, your own personal gifts, your own personal blessings. But as a whole, it's positively contributing to the collective, to your community, to your family, to your personal relationships, right? And like I said, it's a fertile energy. Bees are not aeronomically built to fly and yet they do. And without bees, the whole world would die because they, they do the pollination process for us, right? That's how God made them. That in reality, all of this is happening is because you didn't realize that it was negatively impacting you in such a significant way when the, re the reality of it is that there's buried treasure for you. Even the colors are similar. There's buried treasure for you, but there's buried treasure in you. Your ability to have such a beautiful potential. I'm hearing like unfulfilled potential. Like there's so many, there's so much more he has for you. So many beautiful. These make honey, things that are sweet for you in your future. And again, you weren't realizing with the lion, the peacock, and the five of wands over here is that this situation was putting your pride and your ego at war with the image of yourself and the status of yourself. Because the peacock can be a little bit of a superficial energy, but I'm hearing status, 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 right? Could have been the status of something, the status of a relationship, the status of your finances, your social status, your social media status. There's something about that. And it was really like flaring up your ego and a negative sense of pride. Also with this kind of superficial status -y energy about how things look to other people, the way you want things to be. And with the five of wands, this is like a, this is an ego battle. This is competitive ego battle. And because it's in reverse, this is God trying to squash that, that ego battle, that pridefulness in you to like, things have to be a certain way. And I want this thing. So like very Gollum, like it's my precious. I have to have the ring. And he's like, no, you don't. Cause look what it's doing to you. If this is what it's going to do to you, it can't be that good for you. Can it? Right? So we have to squash this conflict, this battle, this war we're waging inside of us where we're too concerned about how things make us look and about our pride and our wounded ego and, and our status in the, in the rest of the world. Cause in reality, we are a bee especially in this community, especially in this honeycomb, y'all, right? And there's buried treasure for you, right? We have to go and get it. And so what he's doing is he's giving you the ace of wands and strength. He's giving you a bright idea. Once he kind of exalted you, held you up to clear out all of this energy, now he can kind of get to work on you, start giving you divine inspiration, divine guidance, because your environment is clear and now your, your thoughts and your mind are freed up. So that way you can really get this sort of divine download in here to really figure out what part of your purpose, your mission, the, the true manifestation of, of who you are meant to be down here in the natural. And he's giving you the strength to do it, especially with this little lamb here too, right? It's like covering you, making sure that you're protected. Sometimes God takes us away from people, places, and things because they're one, they, they're having a negative impact on us, but two, in the long run, <clears throat> They aren't going to cover and protect us in the way that, and support us in the way that he intends them to do so, right? So it's about integrating your, your more natural, your natural state as a spiritualist, as a child of God, right? Half a lion, right? And also being in the natural down here, also as a person, you know, and bringing in more of this <clears throat> innocent strength, not strength to conquer, but strength to overcome as well. And in that part of this big golden egg, bright idea, strength, energy it's bringing in is the hummingbird and the 10 of pentacles, Libra, the birds and the bees, right? So if this is talking about love for you, then it could be that you've been idealizing someone or idealizing a relationship or idealizing the, the incoming of a divine partner, not realizing that, you know, your first and foremost soulmate is God. He created you. He, he, he is in your soul. Like that is your home first and foremost. And what he really wants you to do is to establish yourself because the hummingbird again is a card of pollination, right? It's about being forward movement, forward moving. I'm sorry. And it's about, again, without these two things, like the world would wither. That's how God made them to exist. And part of it is, is the 10 of pentacles. It's establishing yourself, feeling strong and confident in yourself because you are important and special to God and that he has a purpose for you and that you're supposed to establish yourself, allow him to come in and establish you in the natural with pentacles being your finances, your own foundation, your own stability, your own home, being able to take pride in the work that you do right? Taking pride in yourself for the kind of character that you're able to have, feeling strong and resolved in your faith for the walk that you're on as well. And then everything else, like seek ye first the kingdom and his righteousness and the rest will be added to you, right? Being strong, solid, and, and established in that first. <clears throat> 
because then we have the seven of cups and we have the star in reverse again two stars double confirmation that this wasn't exactly the brightest star in is more like a shooting star beautiful magical but eventually they burn out right they, they don't stay placed in the sky they they travel they move out and then they burn out that it's like he doesn't want you fishing <clears throat> through other different stars other different shooting stars bad stars burning out stars right doing that because it has to with this cups but having to do with your emotional energy feelings of abandonment feelings of rejection feeling of um not maintaining a certain status in the world of people right well if i'm hit this age and i'm not married and i don't have kids and i don't have this and i don't have that well then what am i doing with my life well you're on a walk with god and you're your own person and you're doing your own thing that's what you're doing with your life your life doesn't have to make sense to anyone else if that's what god told you to do then you do that and it's also realizing that with the six of pentacles and the six of cups six six talks about raising your vibration for me as a reader that in reality looking through some of the options looking through some of the old bad stars that have burned out for you you realize that what you do actually want is a reciprocal give and take with a soulmate energy someone something that you can build with right love business partner community whatever it may be something that's long-standing something that can build sentimentality and nostalgia equal energy exchange that that you are reaping the fruits of the labors and the tlc that you're putting into those acorns that you can go and you can find those acorns later this pentacle even looks like one of these acorns right making sure that everything that you're putting into the acorns you can go and you can find them later because in the past like i said with the king of wands it, it was bringing up a bit of hot-headedness in you and um, they, they were, the plans were unfulfilled. You couldn't really fulfill these plans because the King of Wands is a forward mover planner to me, first and foremost. And in that, with the shark, it was really triggering up a lot of things that instead of addressing them, you were just burying them back down inside. But in exalting you and raising you up, he's, he's helped kind of help you work through this ego, helped you work through this issue you're having with status, right? Helped you rebuild your self-esteem, helped fortify your faith again. Because like I said, it was kind of squashing it down and making you almost mad at God when he was really just trying to help you. And in doing that, really showing you, giving you this bright idea with the Ace of Wands and rebuilding your strength that you do have the birds and the bees. You do have fertility and abundance and a blessing that I want to come in for you a golden egg a golden opportunity and a shot at the ten of pentacles which is your real dream right not to be established in someone else but to be established in your own right through god's greatness right and then thereby through others as within so without to be able to have that equal give and take with other people in another love with another soulmate with another creative partner community social group whatever it may be for you right real friends real family that can come in for you next but that's why this stuff wasn't come in coming in for you but now that we know that libra you get to sit in your queen of cups energy surrendered free letting god's goodness just racial reign over you right like yes i received this goodness yes i received this kindness and mercy yes i received these blessings yes i am open i am open to instruction i am open to guidance i am not i have this ace of cups right here right i'm not the water is not above my head and it is not above my head i am the head i am not the tail with the three of wands being like i know how to surf these seas now i know how to gauge this emotional um underbelly body that i'm in and three of wands also talks about collaboration i'm not ready to get back out there and collaborate with people from a healthy state now that my mind's right now that my heart's right now that my soul's right and in that you get to come out of the five of swords which is anxious paranoid stress just like oh my god what now what next you get to come out of that energy and sit in your lizard spirit which is regenerative new skin shedding the old skin shedding the old cycle shedding the old way of thinking being feeling fresh new balanced with all the colors of the chakras surrendered ready to collaborate from a good place and most importantly with god because he's got so much more planned for you than anyone in the natural could ever tell you so libra now you know why this all happened for you so don't lose faith because it all is working out for your highest and best good. I assure you that when you live with God, when God is in your heart, there's no such thing as bad luck. There are no obstacles, there are only opportunities because everything is always and forever working out in your highest good. Yeah. Every challenge is just an opportunity for you to grow stronger, you to grow more faithful, you to grow more resilient. When you walk with God, you're gonna face some giants. But remember, David only had a rock. You just had a rock and a slingshot and look what he was able to do. So have faith, be strong, 
Remember to praise and rejoice in all of your seasons. Maybe you can't see it right now with your natural eyes, but it's coming but it's coming. It's all to cover you and it's all to protect you because he wants to bless you with his goodness, with a hope and a future and a love and opportunities and, and inspiration and joy and happiness. So even though it's been a rough patch, you are getting through it. And it is really putting you in the best possible place to receive everything that you actually want. So Libra. Thank you for watching this. I love you very much. I really hope that this was helpful to you. Um, if you want any of the extra content, that is on my Patreon, daily energy reads, the full monthly readings, all that stuff. Um, that is in the description box along with my email for my personals, which are open. Um, my social media links are in there, my Instagram, my Twitter, and all the decks that I use on this channel. This was the Lightseer's Tarot and the uh, Wild Unknown Spirit Animal Oracle deck, which is the longest name for a deck ever created. Thank you, Kim Kranz. So I love you very much. Thank you for being here. I very much appreciate you. And until I see you next time, stay prayed up, stay blessed. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.